Problems. Oh, the transition from going to uni to work is so much better than being at uni because you oh, make yeah. so much more money. Hi. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> hey, YouTube! It's your girl Gab. <laughs> no, that's Emily's line. <laughs> what tips would you give someone that's on the fence about going to university? If you know what you're going to do at uni, do it. If you don't know what you're going to do, there are other options. You need to go and investigate and be proactive. Reach out to people already in the industry. Find out what they did to be where they are. Um, get apprenticeships, get internships, figure it out. Um, unless you specifically know what you're going to do. For example, if, if you want to get into medicine, you, you have to go to uni. If you want to you know, um, get into engineering or architecture, you have to go to uni. Um, Otherwise, just get as much as experience as much of experience as you can. Um, I really recommend like searching the job roles you want yeah. and seeing what the requirements for yeah. that job role mm -hmm. are. Yeah. You might find a lot of them are like you need a minimum two one BSc or you need a minimum two one BA. Some just say they need a degree, and some are like experience based. So I think really research the roles that you think suit you, and then tailor your career path to fit that. What did you study at uni? And where did you go? Uh, I went to the University of Bedfordshire, Luton campus. Not the best of places, but it was still fun. Um, I studied biomedical science for my first year, then went over to HR and business. Um, but, uh, biomedical science, I failed at chemistry, so I had to retake the first year again. <laughs> um, obviously it's first year, it's fun. Doesn't count, does it? Doesn't count. Does it? Does it count? Um, well, you had to do it again though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry. And then I realised I didn't really like biomedical science. <laughs> so then I swapped over to business and HR. I did fashion, communication and marketing. And I studied that at University of Essex. Essex girl. Yeah. Don't say that. Yeah, no, oh delete God. that out. So I did business management with marketing at the University of East London. And so I studied uh, politics with media at the University of East Anglia. What was your uni experience like? Drunk. Yeah. <laughs> You're asking everyone. You're really selling it. The experience was really good. I made loads of friends, uh, long lasting friendships as well. Um, everyone's from different places in the UK, so it just means I get to travel a lot and I go and see them. Um, but the, the overall experience was really good, you know, uh, a lot of learning, a lot of coursework, and I really learned how to prioritise my time, I think, more than anything else. Did, did your degree help in the career you're choosing now? No. <laughs> so my degree was in business and HR. Uh, right now I do digital marketing, but alongside my uh, degree, I was teaching myself how to build apps, how to build websites, things like that, and that just kind of landed me to where I am today. Um, but yeah, pretty good experience. I, I thoroughly enjoyed uni. Um, uh, I learned a lot about myself at uni, um, but no, it was good. Um, it really did help me, like in my industry now, because obviously the marketing aspect of it really helped with the theoretical side of it. Um, so I learned all of that, which was handy. Made lots of friends. Went out. Played hard. Really yeah. hitting that Essex stereotype there, Gabby. <laughs> well, no, not like that. I don't mean it like that. I just mean. You know, it, it was Essex. Good. Essex. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Essex. Uh, um, Nick, how was your experience? Uh, yeah, my experience was really good. I like, really enjoyed it. Like, I kind of learnt about myself. Like I became like my mum's always saying, like ever since you finished uni, you become like so much more mature. And I think I kind of made me knuckle down. And I think I was all over the place before, but now it's kind of like one path that I want to go down. And I think uni's kind of helped me do that. Found yourself. I found myself. <laughs> what was the course you studied again? Uh, business management with marketing. Nice. And that's re as a working quite well with what you're studying now. What you're doing now, sorry. To an extent, but it's more like traditional marketing, so like newspapers and TV, mm. so it didn't really talk about digital marketing mm. at all. But no, yeah, it's definitely helped to an extent. Yeah, I loved uni. Um, it was a great experience to sort of meet new people, um, learn to look after yourself <laughs> as well. It's like a good sort of maturing you know, experience. Um, yeah, so I'm, yeah, I had a great time. Um, my course wasn't sort of directly related to what I'm doing now, but while I was studying, I did a lot of internships and, and that sort of thing to sort of figure out what I wanted to do. So for me, it was a good experience in that sense. How important is internships during your university degree? I think it just depends on who you are as a person as well, because I think some people can go to uni and 
like never do an internship but still be so set on what career they want to do because they know themselves so well. Whereas if you're, I think if you're a little bit confused and you don't really know what direction you want to go in after your degree, then shopping around and doing internships could be really beneficial to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all about self-awareness. It's like mm. the, the more internships you do. I mean, I, I never did. I never did one. I did. Um, I didn't even do apprenticeships either. Did you? No. Um, I, I worked a lot, and I just figured out what I wanted to do. It's it's all about self-awareness. Once you figure out, you know, what you like doing, as you said, um, you just follow that path and, and try and make a job out of it. Try and make a skill out skill out of it, and something will come from it. Yeah, it's a good opportunity to meet people as well, and that's the whole one reason I got my first job. You know. I, and make connections and you keep in touch as much as you can and those people will remember you and mm. you can you feel you've got that sort of oh, sort of okay or next step to like reach out to them when you're at that point of graduation and, yeah. and then you can move on so that's what it was great for for me yeah. making as many connections mm. as you yeah. can mm. how did you find the process of getting a full-time job after getting your degree quite depressing for me because it was like just six months of constantly applying for jobs and just constantly getting told like oh no you're not good enough but it was like okay what can I do to do better and they're like don't know you just not for us it was just that constantly for months it's a lot of rejection isn't yeah. it yeah with my one I just literally blasted the whole internet anyone who's looking for jobs um, and there was a lot of rejection and I spent about mm -hmm. three maybe four months just working out what I wanted to do mm -hmm. um, Ruthless. Yeah. <laughs> I had um I had a full time job waiting for me when I graduated because obviously I worked here at the time. Yeah. Um but I think like looking at my friends and stuff, it's been it's been really stressful for them. Because the problem is, is that you might be a graduate and they'll be like, Oh great, they're a graduate but at the same time they're like, Well, where's your experience? Then you're like, Well, I've just spent the last three years in education, i this is this is my first experience and it's finding that company who wants to take, um, who wants to take a chance on you really, and give you that opportunity to step on the, the ladder really. Yeah, there's so yeah. much competition because obviously mm. everyone grad graduates at the same time. And yeah. It's such a looming deadline, isn't it? When you graduate, yeah. it's just yeah. that that date is coming, and then it's just like an abyss after. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, what, yeah. what am I going to do? Um, but I was quite lucky as well. I had a job lined up just through the contacts yeah, I made exactly. previously. But yeah, it's a stressful time. It really is. Yeah. Is there any top tips for this year's uni leavers that are looking for work that you can suggest? LinkedIn is your best friend. Um, make a list of everyone that works at your or in your industry. At, you know, maybe at least fifty people. Um, someone that makes that someone that makes a decision on HR or employing people, something like that. Um, and then hit them all up. Show them what you're worth. Don't just send them a CV, send them something that makes you stand out, mm. whether that be you know portfolio, um, images, what you've done yourself online, um, and again, be very proactive with what you're trying to achieve. You know, it's your, it's your career, it's your industry. You need to be proactive with what you want to do. Are there any funny stories that <laughs> you've had during a year? Oh, go on, Nick. Uh, PG-13 <laughs> stories, perhaps. Yeah, uh. I got really drunk one night. This was actually the second night. I was one of the, the first people to move into my dorm. Um, and it was the second night. And I got really drunk by myself because, you know, it's freedom. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what did you drink? What were you drinking? Bacardi. Oh, God. Sure. Oh, no. oh, God. And um, I met one of my best friends, actually, just by knocking on his door. And he was sitting there eating, you know, a box of chicken wings. And he was like, here, do you want a chicken wing? I was like, yeah, do you want some Bacardi? <laughs> 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 and that's how we that's how we met. And then we met other people and then I took them out and then we both both went up together and we met more people. And now that's our friendship circle. <laughs> yeah, that's how I met my friends. I got another one. This was when I was um, doing my first year of biomedical science and it was I used to have practicals on Tuesdays. Um, that's when we had to like dissect things and do mm. petri dishes and stuff like that. And um, it was Halloween, so I went out uh, on the student night, which is a Monday, and I had to be up for my practical on Tuesday, and it's, you, you had to go, otherwise you, you failed the course. I failed the course anyway. But <laughs> regardless, um, I went in covered in face paint, no shower, nothing, and just like, oh my god, where's that rat I need to dissect? Oh, <laughs> and I was god. like, you covered in face paint. And it was so embarrassing because everyone was staring at me. I was just sitting there, like, in my lab coat, <laughs> covered in face paint. It's horrible. Freshness is an experience, isn't it? It is. It's a great experience. 
Yeah, I'd like recommend going to uni just for freshers yeah. as well. Yeah, still my age, still my <laughs> Go for freshers because you honestly, you get to meet so many people and it is your first taste of freedom. It's like, it's just like you don't know what to do with all that freedom.